When I was doing my research about universities in the US, uh, I came across a lot of schools, but what really stood out for me about WNL was the speaking tradition. So I really love the fact that you can just say hi to anyone you come across on the way and they'll say hi back to you and even smile. I would just basically say hi to every stranger that I met. It was kind of weird in the first place, but when you get used to it, you just love it. I, I feel like it makes you so like open to the public, open to the community, and just kind of accept it. I chose WNL because of the community. I learned a lot about the honor system and also about the speaking tradition before coming here, and it's one of those things that make WNL so special. I have never before in my life taken, before I came to WNL, taken an exam that wasn't proctored. And I feel like the amount of trust that professors have over their students is amazing and it makes WNL very unique. The honor system is what ties us all together, is irrespective of, of our majors, our beliefs, our ethnicities. Because every one of us, no matter where we're from, no matter what we do, we're all binded by the same principle, that principle of honor. I think one of the main reasons I chose WNL was because of its small liberal arts school setting and I think it's one of the few places that would allow me to study engineering as a major but also have this entire liberal arts curriculum incorporated into my education. That's one of the most important things about a liberal arts education, that you get the chance to explore all fields and you're not necessarily tied down to subjects pertaining to your major. I'm, I'm a film minor now. That is something almost un, that was something unthinkable to me. Like you know, uh, I ended up taking classes from sociology, politics, history that I just you know never expected to take in college. Before coming here, I definitely expected it to be a lot different from what I've experienced before, um, just because of the smaller class sizes and the uh, connection between students and professors. Oh, my professors are are amazing. They're, number one, they're highly qualified in their field and they're willing to help you. People actually go to office hours. I've been to all of my professors' office hours and it's also like relationships you build. For example, when I go to Professor Gertz, my writing professor, office hour, she has a big chocolate, chocolate laboratory and just pet him and we talk about our life, we talk about where we come from. It's amazing. The access you have to professors, I think it's very exclusive for small liberal arts colleges and a place like Washington and Lee really takes the opportunity. I really think that Washington and Lee offers you all the sort of experience you might not get elsewhere. Many of you come from big cities around the world and so to go to a New York or a Washington is, is exciting. But if you come to New York from London or if you study in Washington after living in Shanghai, you're really dealing with a great big urban experience and you'll find a lot of diversity there and much similarity. The languages of course are different and culture are different, but they're big urban experiences. What's tremendous I think if you study in another country is to go off of the beaten path and Washington and Lee is a little bit. We are a small liberal arts college, a classic American institution, and we're located in the beautiful Shenandoah Valley. I've been to a couple of universities, mostly in big cities, and I th the thing I think that makes WNL stand out the most is you know everyone. It's like you're not at a strange place. You know everyone, it's, it's, it's like home. Lexington is a very American town. As a foreigner, I think I'm lucky to say I spent four years in this historical American town that I see how real Americans live and I fell in love with WNL, both the place and the people. One of the things that made WNL stand out is the fact that they have a promise to meet all of your need, while other schools in the U.S. don't give financial aid to international students. Uh, we have tremendous assets that will provide you with financial aid that will make it possible not only for you to attend Washington and Lee and get back and forth between home and here, but also to do things such as study abroad. So prior to like, my coming here to like, um, WNL, I thought I would study abroad. But well, I never thought I would be able to study abroad as soon as my freshman year, and being able to do that, also with the help of my, um, with the help of my professor, was, thing amazing to me. Your financial aid goes with you, 
So you needn't worry about leaving Washington and Lee and having to pay even more money to study abroad. If you're getting financial aid at Washington and Lee, that same package will go with you wherever you go to study abroad. So essentially, the cost of studying abroad is the same as the cost of studying here at Washington and Lee. We are committed to making excellent education accessible to all of our students and students from all walks of life and all financial backgrounds. Uh, this is a place where folks of many different backgrounds come to study. We address difficult issues, we talk about them, we disagree about them, but we do so in a civil environment where we respect one another's differences of opinions, differences of identity, differences of background. You know you're not going to a city like New York or LA where um, definitely coming to WNL and being in Lexington, Virginia is signing on for something really different, but I think that the school really recognizes that and tries hard to make it a place and support those kind of diverse perspectives. Students come here from all over the world. Students go all over the world from here. In that case, we're getting that global touch. We're getting that, you know, we're getting exposed to other cultures and other minds. Even though Lexington is such, such a small town and everyone is from big cities, most students live on campus and everyone is always willing to reach out and to learn new cultures from each other. I think that's very important. WNL is one of the most welcoming places and it's definitely a great fit for international students, especially because we have international student orientation and we come here a week before the rest of the students do. So that's really helpful. You get to explore campus before anyone else does. You get to learn all the neat tricks and also class registration. A lot of the things that students would do with a big group, you get to do them on a smaller scale. One of the main campus resources I've used is career development. I think it was very helpful, especially as a student who's never had a three month summer before. I think going there has really helped me to plan out what I could do like over summer after freshman year or sophomore year and junior year respectively. The Center for International Education, obviously, that's really helped. Uh, every time I have questions about something I don't know about America, about like my taxes or anything, I just come here, they direct me to the people I need to go to, and it just makes everything easier. I use the writing um, center because, well, as I'm an international student, I was uh, like when I first came here, I was obviously insecure about my writing and it was very helpful. It really helped build my confidence as well as like my strength in regards to writing and just being able to go there every night before I had to submit an assignment, having someone go through it and tell me how I could make improvements. That was really helpful. I was actually a bit ill last week. Um, and the nice thing is you can go to the student health, health center and get uh, medication for free. Like you're really well taken care of with, with whatever happens. Uh, so I'm involved in the Washington Lee Student Consulting. I'm involved in Amnesty International, um, the African Society, and also um, Campus Kitchen, among other things that I can remember right now. And joining those clubs enables you to meet lots of very um, interesting, intelligent, and amazing people. And everyone's trying to get you involved in things. There's always something going on. Lots of free food, parties, and organizations. They'll ask you to come and just join in. So there's definitely something for everyone going on here. I've made some great friends here. Um, they are driven, they are brave, and they're talented and I saw a lot of different options of like different ways of living your life and to express yourself and to be yourself. And I learned so much from them and I would love to call them my lifelong friends. And so when you come here, you will be welcomed. You will meet folks from across the campus, whether it's the president, whether it's the deans, whether it's your faculty, your fellow students, they will all welcome you. Their doors will be open and you will feel a welcome, welcoming aspect of Washington and Lee that is truly distinct, I think, among American institutions and actually institutions around the world.